Hello and welcome once again to Akosia's blog. If you are new here, kindly subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell when you're done. In today's recipe, we are preparing Atajo milk or tiger nut pudding. I'll list the ingredients in the description box so kindly check it out. Now we have our sugar, our rice, salt to taste and then our tiger nuts. You can use the black or the yellow tie, but I prefer the yellow tie because it's sweeter. So the previous day, I poured two cups of my dried tiger nuts into a bowl and then I'm going to wash it for about two to three times. Men in Ghana has used this tiger nuts for generations to treat erectile dysfunction and also to increase sperm count and boost libido. Tiger nuts also serves as aphrodisiac, it also improves digestion, reduces blood sugar level, it boosts your immune system and helps fight infections. It also improves your heart health. When you're done washing the tiger nut, you transfer it into a clean bowl and then add more water. Make sure that the water is almost at the brim because this very one is dry. So if you're using the fresh one, you can omit it. But then if you're using the dry one, use more water. So the next day, it has doubled in size. I also soaked my rice in water overnight, but then I forgot to show you the video of it. So I'm going to pour the water out and then start blending it. So I'll blend it in batches and then add more water to it and then blend till it's smooth. When you're done, you pour it into a clean bowl and then continue blending the remaining one. When you're done with the second one, you pour it into the bowl and this time round, you rinse your blender with water and then add it directly again. This is the time to start sieving or straining it. So in another saucepan, I'm going to pour the water or the juice from the tiger nut into another saucepan and then I will strain it. You can use your cheesecloth directly here, but then I prefer to use my sieve here first and then I'll transfer it into my cheesecloth or my cloth with tiny holes in it. In Ghana, if you don't have, you can use your scarf, but make sure that it's clean. Now, when you are done, you pour the chaff into your blender again. And this time around, we are going to blend till it's very smooth. And then you go over the same process again. Now, don't throw the chaff away because you can use it as powder when it's dried and then you can use it in so many recipes. You can even make swallows out of your tiger nut flour or you can even give it to animals to eat. So don't throw anything away. So this is the chaff. You can air dry it in the room or you can sun dry it too. And then after you blend till it's smooth. So now into my saucepan, I'm going to strain or sieve the water that I already strained and then this time round, since I already strained it earlier, I don't have too many or so many shafts. So it's simple, it's very easy when I do it this way. But then do whatever you think you can because I don't have muscles to press the juice out of it. So I prefer to do it this way a little at a time and it works best for me. Now that we are done extracting the tiger nut milk, it's time to blend our rice too. So we are going to blend it till it's very smooth. The key word here is very smooth. So if your blender cannot blend it smoothly, make sure you use your sanka or your apotoyowa and then you blend or grind till it's very smooth. Pour it directly into your tiger nut milk and then you stir it. We do not want any lambs, we do not want any rice um, particles or pieces in our tiger nut pudding. So please 
do well to make sure that it's really smooth before adding it directly to this. If your blender can't also blend it smoothly, you can strain the rice before adding it directly to your tiger nut milk. Do you know that you can also drink your tiger nut milk like that without cooking it? It's also nutritious and very healthy too. So now we are going to start the cooking process. Make sure that you stir in one direction, add your salt to taste, and then you continue with the stirring process. Now this stage and the preparation stage are the most difficult because when you don't stir it well, you are going to have lumps in your tiger nut pudding and we don't want that. Also, if you don't stir it in one direction till it's cooked, when you leave your tiger nuts after it's cooked, they will go still or it would ruin. I don't know the English word for it, but what is it? We're betting so sad and pessimistic, you know. Making sure so we be no direction back. Co, copem say a better can to say the unhu no wa hasi no. After you low your heat and then you allow it to simmer for about 15 minutes. Whilst waiting for our tiger nut pudding to continue cooking, we are going to melt our sugar or we are going to caramelize it. So in another saucepan, I place my sugar in it and I'm going to turn till it's melted. You can also decide not to stir it when you're using a non-stick pan. You just tilt your saucepan like that once in a while and then it will melt beautifully. At this stage, we do not want to burn our sugar because it will be better when you add it to your tiger nut pudding. Though we want a brown color like we see here. So continue turning or stirring it so you get the color that you prefer make sure to do this on low heat after i'm adding cold water to it so that i stop the melting process i do not want to burn it but make sure that you off your stove before doing this when you are done check on your pudding and then you add your sugar directly to this if you do not like sugar you can add honey or any healthy sugar of your choice but then traditionally this is how we prepare our tiger nut pudding so without sugar or without the caramelized sugar i don't think you will get that attach milk taste that we all know of or the taste that we are all fond of Keep stirring till it's evenly mixed. Now allow this to simmer for an additional five minutes and then it's good to be set. If it's too heavy, you add just a little water to it. But then when it cools down, it becomes heavier again. When it's cooled down, it's time to serve in your plain capsule box and then you add your milk directly to this. You can keep this in the refrigerator for about two weeks without it turning watery thank you lovely people for watching my channel don't forget to like subscribe share my videos and leave comments for more recipes bye bye